Hello friends, family, and all you other lovely people. My name is Aaron, and today we'll be taking a look at and reviewing Tautronic's newest earbuds, the Sound Liberty 53s. The Sound Liberties currently only come in black and retail for about $50, although they're often on sale for about $45 on Amazon. Tautronic's wireless earbuds offer Bluetooth 5.0, sweat resistance, touch controls, interchangeable ear gels, and a stunning 40 total hours of battery life. That's 5 hours for the earbuds and 35 hours with the charging case. So as always, let's start by taking a look at the good stuff. The Sound Liberties are fairly comfortable earbuds that come with three differently sized ear gels, uh, small, medium, and of course large. And I found that with the help of the ear gels, they stay pretty well in my ears, even while jogging. Not that I really do that that often. As far as battery life goes, I found that they almost always last around four and a half hours without ever charging them. Like most wireless earbuds, the Sound Liberties will automatically connect to your phone or device once they are removed from the case, and the connection for these is very quick. One of the Sound Liberty's uniquest features that I really like is how the case's charging lights will actually indicate to you which earbuds are currently charging. So you might not be able to see right now, but there's one light on the left side that is on and one light on the right side that is on. So that means that both earbuds are charging right now. If I were to use only one of the earbuds at a time and then uh, put that earbud into charge, you would see that only one light would be on and that's because only that earbud uh, would be charging. On top of that, these earbuds do offer pretty good cough quality. But unfortunately, that's about it for the good stuff. To be honest, most of the Sound Liberty's features are going to fall into the just okay category, uh, but let's start with some of the charging cases features. The case isn't overly large, but it's definitely not small either, and I'm really not a fan of the oblong style of charging cases like this one. I'm absolutely willing to deal with the size of the case though and the shape of it because of those advertised 40 hours of battery life that Tautronics claims that their case will provide. Unfortunately, throughout my testing, I've found that the earbuds and charging case don't quite live up to those claims. I typically get 26 to 28 hours of total playtime, which is good, but drastically less than the 40 hours claimed. And keep in mind that for my testing purposes, I kept the volume at about 50%, which is lower than I would usually use it, and I suspect that listening at higher volumes might decrease the total playtime even more. And although the case is magnetic so that the earbuds are held inside by the magnetism, it's not as secure as the Apple AirPod style of case where the stem of the earbuds actually drop into the case. You can see with this case, the sound liberties are simply laying in these magnetic little grooves right here. And because of that, it's not quite as secure and the earbuds will easily topple out of the case uh, if you were to drop them. Like I mentioned earlier, this case has some light indicators which indicate the charge level. But on this case, the lights are extremely dim and can be hard to see at times. And although it's not a big issue since these things cost only $50, there's no wireless charging either. As far as the earbuds themselves, they're not all that stylish looking, and in all honesty, they, they might look cheap to some people, uh, but I'm glad that Tautronics went with the matte finish instead of the shine finish, so you don't really get fingerprints or scratches on them that easily. Also, these earbuds don't automatically pause when they are removed from the user's ears, but they do auto-pause once you've put them back in their case. The Bluetooth pairing is basically what you'd expect. It's simple, but not quite as easy as AirPods or Samsung's Galaxy Buds. Like many other earbuds, these things have a primary bud. But for the Sound Liberties, the primary is the left earbud. So this means that the earbuds will only be connected to your device when the left earbud is removed from the charging case. And if you plan on using one earbud at a time, you'll be stuck using only the left earbud. As soon as you put the left earbud back in the charging case, both earbuds will be disconnected from your phone. Technically, if you wanted to use just the right one, you could take both earbuds out of the charging case and only put the right one in your ear and leave the left one lying around somewhere. It's not great, uh, but it definitely works. Also, like many other truly wireless earbuds, the Sound Liberties rely on touch controls. You can double tap either earbud to play or pause, tap the left one to lower the volume, tap the right to increase the volume, long press the left to go back, and long press the right to skip to the next track. Another just okay feature with these is the voice that tells you whenever the earbuds have been powered on or off, or whenever they have been connected or disconnected from your device. I personally prefer when wireless earbuds use a series of beeps or sounds to indicate those instead. <laughs> now, obviously, one of the most important things when when it comes to wired or wireless earbuds alike is the sound quality. And I've got to say that these things are decent. There's nothing special about the sound, but they work really well. Okay, so now we have to talk about the bad things. 
Easily the biggest issue with the sound liberties is the build quality of the case. You can obviously see how flimsy the lid is and how it wiggles about and doesn't seem to rest quite flush all the time. And honestly, I don't have much confidence in the case when it comes to its ability to withstand drops. And speaking of confidence, I'm also just not so confident in the Tautronics brand itself. I bought a Bluetooth receiver of theirs a little over a year ago, and after about 10 months of use, the battery would only take enough charge to last 20 minutes or so. And a couple months after that, the battery actually swelled up enough to break out of its own casing like the Hulk ripping out of a medium-sized t-shirt. Now, it might not seem fair to judge a product based on products made by the same company, but it's definitely something to keep in mind, especially when spending your hard-earned cash. And my last complaint about the earbuds is simply that the charging case uses micro USB instead of, say, USB-C or lightning cable. I mean, it's 2019 at this point, that should be the standard. We should not be using micro USB anymore. Overall, the Sound Liberties are a decent pair of earbuds that have no real major issues, but they also have no above average features that would make them stand out amongst the sea of wireless earbuds. They're really not a bad buy for $50, but my own personal perceived value for these is about $40 or so, and I really wouldn't want someone to spend much more than that on these things.